Eight minutes. That's how long it took for SpaceX's monumental achievement to transform into yet another explosive setback. After multiple delays and a nail-biting last-minute scrub, Starship Flight 8 finally lifted off from Starbase in Texas, carrying the hopes of SpaceX's ambitious space program. The initial launch was nothing short of spectacular. The world's largest rocket, standing at a towering 400 feet, thundered skyward with the raw power of 33 Raptor engines generating nearly 17 million pounds of thrust. As it climbed through the atmosphere, Starship conquered Max-Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, without even flinching. Then came a milestone moment. The super heavy booster separated flawlessly before executing what many thought impossible. It returned to Earth and was caught by the mechanical arms of Mechazilla, marking SpaceX's first successful booster catch. But just when victory seemed certain, disaster struck. At approximately eight minutes into the flight, the upper stage began tumbling uncontrollably. Within seconds, it erupted into a fireball high above the Caribbean Sea, leaving only debris and questions in its wake. This wasn't a random failure. It was a catastrophic event mirroring the explosion of Flight 7 in January. And now we have crucial information about what went wrong and how SpaceX plans to address these recurring issues. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The moment those 33 Raptor engines ignited, Starship Flight 8 was already rewriting the rulebook of space exploration. The countdown proceeded with surgical precision despite earlier delays that had kept SpaceX engineers working around the clock. As the massive rocket cleared the launch tower, the ground literally trembled beneath the feet of onlookers. 17 million pounds of thrust will do that. 60 seconds into flight, Starship encountered its first major hurdle, Max-Q. This is where aerodynamic forces reach their peak intensity, and it's the point where many rockets have historically failed. But Starship pushed through without even a shudder, a testament to SpaceX's meticulous engineering and structural design. At T plus 245, the super heavy booster began its carefully choreographed shutdown sequence. SpaceX's innovative hot staging technique, where the upper stage fires its engines before fully separating from the booster, worked flawlessly. This isn't just showing off, it's about maximizing efficiency and payload capacity by ensuring continuous thrust during the critical stage separation process. The Super Heavy Booster's mid-air flip maneuver was nothing short of balletic. A 230-foot tall, 9 million pound metal giant performing an aerial pirouette with rocket-powered precision. As it descended toward Starbase, viewers worldwide held their breath. The massive mechanical arms of Mechazilla extended, ready to catch this falling titan. At T plus six minutes, history was made. The mechanical arms successfully grabbed the descending booster, a feat SpaceX had been working toward for years. This wasn't just a technical achievement, it represented the holy grail of rocket reusability. No more ocean landings, no more recovery ships. Just catch and reuse, potentially slashing launch costs even further. While celebrations erupted at Mission Control over the booster recovery, engineers kept their focus on the upper stage. Starship was performing nominally, soaring higher and faster toward its planned trajectory. The vehicle had reached an altitude that would have made it nearly impossible to spot with the naked eye from Earth. Then, at T plus eight minutes, the first warning signs appeared. Telemetry data began showing unexpected readings from the upper stage's engines. One by one, sensors indicated pressure fluctuations and thermal anomalies in the engine bay. The flight controller's expressions shifted from triumph to concern in an instant. What happened next occurred in a matter of seconds, though the investigation would take weeks. Starship began to wobble slightly at first, then more violently as its control systems fought a losing battle against whatever was causing the instability. Finally, as the spacecraft tumbled out of control, communication was lost. Moments later, observers in the Caribbean reported seeing a bright flash in the sky. Starship had disintegrated, the most troubling aspect. We've seen this movie before. Just two months earlier, in January 2025, Starship Flight 7 met an eerily similar fate. That mission also saw engine problems at approximately the same flight time, T plus 740. Communication was lost at T plus 826, and the spacecraft exploded over the Turks and Caicos Islands 
after reaching an altitude of 146 kilometers. SpaceX's preliminary investigation into Flight 7 had pointed to a propellant leak in the engine compartment. The leak created excessive pressure that overwhelmed the venting system, triggering a cascade of failures that ultimately destroyed the vehicle. Elon Musk himself noted that all indicators suggested an oxygen or fuel leak that worsened until catastrophic failure was inevitable. Now with two consecutive upper stage failures occurring in almost identical circumstances, SpaceX engineers are facing some hard truths about the complexity of their spacecraft. The upper stage of Starship isn't just a simplified version of the booster, it's an entirely different beast with unique challenges. While the Super Heavy booster operates primarily in Earth's atmosphere, following relatively predictable physics, the upper stage must function in the vacuum of space under radically different conditions. One of the most significant hurdles is propellant management in microgravity. Without Earth's gravity pulling liquids down, ensuring consistent fuel flow to the engines becomes exponentially more difficult. Even minor inconsistencies in this flow can trigger engine shutdowns or worse. Another critical challenge is the need for multiple engine reignitions. Unlike the booster, which only needs to fire once during ascent before returning, Starship's upper stage must restart its engines multiple times during a mission to perform orbital maneuvers. Each restart represents another potential point of failure, especially with the complex Raptor engines that operate at the very edge of material science and engineering capabilities. The Raptor engines themselves push the boundaries of what's possible, operating on a full-flow stage combustion cycle, a design so complex that no country had successfully deployed it operationally until SpaceX. These engines achieve incredible efficiency, but at the cost of increased complexity. When everything works, they're revolutionary. When something goes wrong, the consequences can be catastrophic. Based on the telemetry data and visual observations, experts believe Flight 8's failure stem from issues remarkably similar to Flight 7. All signs point to a propellant leak in the engine section, likely either liquid oxygen or methane, that created a runaway reaction. Once a leak begins in the cramped engine bay, it creates a dangerous environment. The leak could have frozen critical components, damaged sensors, or created hotspots that triggered automatic shutdowns in some engines. With some engines offline and others still firing, the spacecraft would lose balance and begin tumbling. What's particularly concerning for SpaceX is that this represents a potential design flaw rather than a one-off manufacturing defect. Two nearly identical failures suggest a fundamental issue that needs addressing, possibly in the plumbing systems that feed propellant to the engines or in the thermal management systems designed to keep components at optimal temperatures. While SpaceX engineers are focused on the technical challenges, there's another force that could prove even more challenging, regulation. The Federal Aviation Administration has shown increasing scrutiny of SpaceX's rapid test and fail approach and these consecutive failures will only intensify that oversight. After the first full-scale Starship test flight explosion in April 2023, the FAA imposed a regulatory grounding that delayed the next test flight for months while SpaceX completed a comprehensive investigation and implemented corrective actions. With two upper stage explosions now occurring back to back, the regulatory response could be even more severe. The FAA's actions aren't without precedent, just last year, in September 2024, they grounded SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket after a second-stage anomaly, an issue far less dramatic than Starship's explosion. This regulatory environment means that SpaceX's preferred method of rapid iteration may be significantly hampered in the coming months. So what does this mean for the future of Starship? Despite these setbacks, SpaceX isn't likely to slow down for long. Their engineering team is already analyzing the failure data around the clock, developing solutions to address the propellant management issues that plagued both Flight 7 and Flight 8. The path to orbit was never going to be smooth. Even with these explosions, SpaceX has made remarkable progress. The successful booster catch alone represents a revolutionary advancement in rocket reusability, one that could eventually transform access to space for generations to come. History shows us that every revolutionary spacecraft faces failures on its path to success. The Saturn V, the Space Shuttle, even SpaceX's own Falcon 1 all experienced devastating setbacks before achieving their ultimate goals. 
What matters isn't the failures themselves, but how quickly and effectively SpaceX adapts and overcomes them. The race to make humanity multiplanetary continues with all its triumphs and tragedies, and we'll be here to bring you every development as it happens. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think SpaceX will solve these upper stage issues before their next flight? Eight minutes. That's how long it took for SpaceX's monumental achievement to transform into yet another explosive setback. After multiple delays and a nail-biting last-minute scrub, Starship Flight 8 finally lifted off from Starbase in Texas, carrying the hopes of SpaceX's ambitious space program. The initial launch was nothing short of spectacular. The world's largest rocket, standing at a towering 400 feet, thundered skyward with the raw power of 33 Raptor engines, generating nearly 17 million pounds of thrust. As it climbed through the atmosphere, Starship conquered Max-Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, without even flinching. Then came a milestone moment. The super heavy booster separated flawlessly before executing what many thought impossible. It returned to Earth and was caught by the mechanical arms of Mechazilla, marking SpaceX's first successful booster catch. But just when victory seemed certain, disaster struck. At approximately eight minutes into the flight, the upper stage began tumbling uncontrollably. Within seconds, it erupted into a fireball high above the Caribbean Sea, leaving only debris and questions in its wake. This wasn't a random failure. It was a catastrophic event mirroring the explosion of Flight 7 in January. And now we have crucial information about what went wrong and how SpaceX plans to address these recurring issues. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours.